Let's increase our poison damage. So by the time you get done watching this video, you're gonna realize that there are things that increase poison that you didn't know would increase it before so you can get a lot more damage on the vortex boss or wherever you're taking your poison units. I'm gonna play this clip really quick of all these guys fighting the boss and I want to know how does poison work when there's multiple poison people putting up, it's only one stack of poison you're gonna see here, but this level 90 has no gear on, this level one has no gear, level 90 has no gear back here in the back, and this level one has no gear. The only one that has gear is this guy, so really his poison is the only one that's gonna do some kind of damage. The other poisons shouldn't do that much. And I was hoping that because he has the most damage and he puts up the poison first, that maybe when all these stacks go up there, it would just, you know, feed off of him and they wouldn't even need to have any kind of gear on them. But unfortunately it doesn't work that way. So we've got all these stacks right now and you can see it tick at nine stacks for 1,589. And then we're gonna see it tick again for, it'll get up to like 20 stacks. It's up to 19 stacks right now, which is, which is a lot, but it's only gonna tick for 7,111, which my guy by himself can get that high if he could get more stacks up, no problem. He, he could get 7,000, even if he had like 10 stacks up, he could get 7,000 by himself. So I don't know how multiple stacks are being calculated. And now a lot of the stacks fell off. I didn't see tons of numbers go by there. I'm assuming that it just holds like each number, number one, number two, number three. If number one was my main legendary that's got all the gear, when that ticks, it does his damage. When the other stacks tick, it does each of their individual damage. But I'm looking for the green numbers and I see 6,000. I don't see like a little 100, 100, 200, like lower numbers and then his bigger number. I don't see that when it ticks. So it's, it's really odd to me how multiple poison units work together. So if you know the secret to that, let me know and we'll ask the devs as well. So we're testing this legendary out. Currently we've got gear on him to give him 1,850 additional attack. No enlightenment right now, just 11 enlightenment. The way poisons work is it goes off the enemy's max HP, but it can only be a max of 30% of your attack. So you definitely wanna have high attack. Don't worry about crit rate, don't worry about critical damage. Anybody from poison, we just wanna get their attack as high as possible. And we wanna get their enlightenment as high as possible because it really adds a lot of damage. And I know right now you're saying, well, enlightenment only says that it increases the derivative damage and then some of the healers say it increases their healing with their attack plus enlightenment. You're right, but that's not how it's working. And I really think it's meant to be this way because the gear that we put on him that works with enlightenment plus attack is called the assassin set. So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that way. So right now we have no real enlightenment and we're looking at the damage. One, 4,126 off of nine stacks, 10 stacks, 11 stacks. Man, I wish he could get that many stacks when I got all the good gear on him. So right now, five stacks, 4,561. Uh, six stacks, maybe that maybe that, maybe that, that dropped a different stack. So we're looking at 2,000, 2,400 and something off of six stacks. I'll put the numbers up after I'm recording. We'll see numbers right now on here to keep track of it all because now we're gonna go to re-gear him into the assassin set where he's got the same exact attack, 1,843. I'll show both gear sets. And now we've got 106 additional enlightenment. Before we had plus 10 or 11 additional enlightenment. And now you can see the difference. Look at this, 4,000, 4,137. It's, it's a big difference. It's like a huge difference. And I don't even have an enlightenment gem on him right now. For the relics, on the bottom, I just have plus attack. I could have one that has a main of enlightenment. And even though it doesn't seem a lot, cause it's only like 20 or 30 enlightenment, it would increase this poison damage by an insane amount. So the assassin set gives you for a two piece bonus, plus 15% attack and then 40 enlightenment. So you really wanna play these on any of your poisoners, get their attack up. Again, no crit rate, critical damage. You don't need it. If you get that on there, sure. It's an additional damage cause the hero's always attacking. It's always doing, you know, moves like this that do damage. If you can get it, that's great, but you really wanna prioritize getting that enlightenment and that attack up as much as possible because this is doing insane damage. We're gonna jump over to the Vortex boss and kind of compare the damage from there. The test dummy, the level one test dummy, because I was curious, you know, what's the level one test dummy's max HP? Can we really associate the test dummy's tick of poison to this boss? so that we get a general idea, right? When we're testing out on the test dummy, will that give us a general idea of what kind of damage we'd also get on this boss? And we're gonna see. So we're at three stacks right now, cause I was curious to know that, cause I don't wanna do all that testing on the test dummy at level one, 
and then come over here and it's totally different. I want to kind of have an idea of when I'm testing there, okay, this is the damage I could get on this boss. And I've updated all these numbers on the spreadsheet. If you want to see the spreadsheet, it's down below. Go check that out for all the damage numbers for all the heroes on single target and AOE. We've got five stacks right now. So at five stacks, what was that? Three, two, zero, one. It's a little bit different on this boss. It's lower. So at five stack, no, it, maybe it's about the same because we need about six stacks. I think at six stacks is where I saw a lot of the same damage happening. If we can get one more poison up, they all fell off. Now they all fell off. If we can get one more up, that'd be cool. And then keep this in mind too, if you want to go back to the very beginning of the video. How does it work with all these multiple poisons? Since there's not multiple stacks of poisons that do different damage, how does it work with all these stacks of poison? That's what I've got for poison and enlightenment. Now we can get some more damage out of our poison heroes. Some of you might have already known this out there. I know some people were telling me on, um, on streaming to test it out. They're like, hey, can you test out enlightenment on poison guys? And I did. And it's sweet. So thanks so much for that. Please subscribe if you haven't, guys. Appreciate your time. I will see you all in a video soon.